What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be more for beginners who are just starting out with using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to be showing you five of my favorite shortcuts that I use inside of Premiere. I use them all the time and they really help me speed up my editing process. Some of these shortcuts I didn't know about for years and I wish I had because they would have come in real handy and saved me a bunch of time. So hopefully these shortcuts can help you guys who are just starting out with using Premiere or who knows, it could even help some of you who have been using Premiere for a bit and you might find out about some shortcuts that you haven't been using yet. So we're gonna jump into that, but before we do, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community for creative people and those who are curious about learning. With a premium membership, you have access to thousands of classes on topics such as design, photography, and video. It's the perfect place to learn from experts in their field so that you can learn some new skills yourself. A class that I have been loving recently is film director Nguyen An Nguyen's class called Indie Filmmaking, Get the Blockbuster Look on a DIY Budget. He has his own indie film production company and in this class he talks about how he creates his awesome sci-fi films on a budget. This class is great for people interested in creating short films with VFX without having a Hollywood budget. I love Skillshare because you choose when you want to do the learning and it's for people of all skill levels. Right now, if you click the link in the description below, the first 1,000 people get 14 days of a Skillshare premium membership completely for free. And then after that, it's less than $10 a month for you to continue using Skillshare to further your learning. So if you're interested in joining Skillshare, make sure to check out that link below and enjoy your 14 days for free. But okay guys, now it's time to get on with the rest of the video. This first shortcut is how you can unlink audio and video tracks from each other. Say you have a clip where you want to delete the audio track and only keep the video. You can quickly do this by selecting your clip and then hitting Ctrl L. This will unlink the video and audio track and you can now move them freely and delete one without deleting the other. If you want to link these back together, simply select both of them and hit Ctrl L again and now they are linked once more. This next one is an easy and quick way how to duplicate a clip. Make sure your clip is selected Hold down Alt or Option if you're on a Mac, and then click and drag that clip over and this duplicates it. You can also duplicate multiple clips at once if you select all of them and do the same thing. Hold down Alt, click and drag them over. If you only want to duplicate just the video or audio track from a clip, make sure the clip is not selected, hold down Alt, then click and drag whichever track you want to duplicate individually. And this is the quickest way to duplicate clips. This one is the ripple delete shortcut and it helps you quickly clean up your timeline. You know when you're editing and you're doing your thing and you start seeing all these spaces and gaps in your timeline? You don't wanna to have to click and drag all these clips over to get rid of those gaps because it just takes too long. An easy way to get rid of all these empty spaces is to just right click in those areas and select ripple delete. This is an easy and fast way to clean up your timeline. The next shortcut is using the slip tool. The slip tool can be very useful in certain situations. Say you have a clip that you already edited and it's in between two other clips. But after watching your edit back, you want this middle clip to start a little earlier. Instead of moving your clip up and then extending it out and finding that exact spot you want it to be, you can just leave that clip where it is and push Y on the keyboard. Now you can click and drag inside of the clip that you want to edit and you're able to adjust the timing of your clip without changing the length of it. This last shortcut is probably the one I use the most. While editing, it's common to constantly be changing your mind with what you just did. That's where the undo and redo shortcut is great. If you wanna undo anything that you just did, either on purpose or accidentally, just hit Control Z. You can keep pushing that and undo a number of your last edits. Then if you change your mind and didn't actually want to undo those edits, you can hit Control Shift Z and it'll redo those changes. So I love the undo and redo shortcuts and I use them every time I'm editing inside of Premiere. But okay guys, that's it for today's video. If you wanna learn even more keyboard shortcuts, you can go up to edit and come down to keyboard shortcuts. And on here, you can see the default layout for all the shortcuts. You can customize them and even create your own. But all right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.